Hey, and welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, the King of Do, and I'm back again. I've been having some ridiculous technical difficulties with my new PC setup and uh, just even the basic software and getting everything recording again. So um, it's been quite the challenge. Everything appears to be working fine at the moment, but I have no clue if it's working. So I'm going to keep the video very short because the last time I recorded this very same video, just a few moments ago, it did not turn out right, even though everything looks good and all my numbers look pretty and um, looks like I should be uh, doing just fine bringing you the news. But uh, change some settings and uh, we're going to give it one more go really quick here. And we're going to get right to it. Uh, just to save time and try to get you guys a successful uh, newscast. And so we're going to keep it short. We're going to go straight to CoinDash today. CoinDash ICO, $12 million roughly is what they were looking for, depending on the price of ETH. Anyhow, um, all said and done, basically it got hacked. There was a hacker. The hacker got in there, changed the address on the site essentially, and actually got a ton of ETH sent his way. Um, millions of dollars in ETH and uh, so a lot of people are panicking today and uh, that's what was going down big time today all over the news so if you uh, weren't aware I'm gonna actually read you guys the actual uh, letter uh, public relations letter about the situation real quickly and uh, here we go uh, dear coin dash contributors it is unfortunate to announce that we have suffered a hacking attack during our token sale event during the attack, $7 million was stolen from an unknown perpetrator. The CoinDash token sale secured $6.4 million from an early contributor uh, whitelist participant, and we are grateful for the support and contribution. Okay, so essentially uh, they're just saying that $7 million was stolen, but they still have $6.4 million. Um, it goes on to say that the um, CoinDash is responsible for all of its contributors, and they're going to send everyone coins. Um, so if you sent either the wrong address, they're just going to bite the bullet um, and issue it out as is. It'll be very, very interesting to see if these guys do another ICO in the future. Um, if you do another one in the future, you're basically going to devalue all the uh, people who did, uh, you know, essentially got in on this one. If you don't, you basically admit you're asking for way more money than you really needed. Kind of weird, right? Anyhow, um, basically they go on to say this damaging event to both our contributors and our company um, was, you know, not the end of the project, um, but they're looking into the security breach and they'll give us an update. I don't know what they're going to find. And, and who cares? It's over, right? So anyhow, um, you know, you stop and you wonder, if, is this going to affect the markets at all? Is this going to scare anybody? Is this... You know, is the ICO uh, craziness over? Maybe. We hop over and we take a look at the markets today, and you actually can see uh, Bitcoin is up about 10%. Uh, Ethereum is up at 11 right now, and everything is green. Beautiful green day. Some massive movers, the biggest being uh, Verticium. A uh, massive move, 33% right now. Um, and what else? Anything big waves up 20%, not surprising. Anyhow, it was about time for a day of green. Um, we uh, we hit a couple of resistant points. Um, we actually bounced off of it twice. There was a Bitcoin resistant point that we bounced off twice. Um, some people believe this is marking the end. Uh, some people are saying this is a giant uh, trap um, and uh, don't get caught up in it. Um, you know, it's just a short term buy because everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's going up. Oh my gosh, I gotta buy it while it's still cheap. Because um, Ethereum was like $130 yesterday. Yesterday, right now it's at 100 and uh, 84 so don't get caught up um, too much in all the crazy hype um, you know I, I don't foresee personally this going all the way straight back up you know Ethereum all the way up to three hundred and four hundred dollars and every all is right with the world um, we, we shook out a lot of people we shook out a ton of people a lot of money um, we are down to 76 billion in market cap and uh, we lost well over 30 percent um, of the overall market cap from the all-time high and so you know we got we got some work to do boys we got some work to do um, you know we, we need to see more developments from a lot of these projects come rolling out and uh, we're starting to so it's really exciting so looking forward to bringing you guys the news and talking more about that but for this episode that's it 
that's it. Just wanted to talk about Coin Dash and uh, wanted to talk about um, just where the markets are at right now. And uh, hopefully this video is successful and uh, you guys will be seeing it soon. So uh, anyhow, I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and all those fun things. Leave a comment below about uh, what you think about the, the crazy Coin Dash heist. I like using the word heist. We don't get to use that uh, very much, but we finally have a heist um, here in the crypto world and uh, great, great, easy news to cover. Uh, it's really uh, fascinating and exciting and I can kind of have fun with it because at the end of the day, everyone who's affected is getting their coins back. So good luck to all of you um, who invested in that. I hope it works out for you and I hope you guys all have a uh, fantastic roller coaster ride that is the crypto ICO world. With all that being said, I am the king of do. May the force be with you.